Hey, what's up guys? Mike here, Owens Pressure Washing. We had a job today, but that got canceled real quick. So on the way to the job, I spoke to this customer several times. You know, we booked probably about three, four weeks ago. It was probably in the beginning of January even. And we had, she had a lot of questions, which is fine. Um, but today on the way to the job, I get a message from Jill's office saying, this particular person called and wants to know about our process and if we, she needs to worry about broken tiles and I'm like huh that's weird so I call this customer back and we're talking she tells me that you know her insurance recently just dropped her and she's worried about her tiles and the integrity of her roof and I just you know long story short I just told her all right I'm gonna come check it out I'll let you know in my opinion what the best um, opinion would be meanwhile in my head I'm thinking oh crap I'm getting them gut feeling red flags everywhere I've been down this road before I had a guy try to blame me for get a roof leak I had a guy tried to have me come out and clean a roof with two ginormous holes if you watch the channel you've seen this before so I was like whoa 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 what the heck's going on so I get there I noticed some cracked tiles, um, that mortar where the tiles on the ridge get put together, there's a little bit of mortar, it's like a cement they put on for roof tiles. That was all crumbly around the vents, the uh, bathroom air vent, and the, maybe the kitchen exhaust vents, those pipes that stick out. There was cracks all in there. Um, the nails on the side of the ridges were about out like a half inch, maybe a quarter inch. They were all rusted, um, a little loose on the sides um, right away. And I just told her, hey, you know, I don't feel comfortable doing this roof. And she was getting a little upset saying, you know, I really wish you could just clean this roof. And I said, well, you know, based on our conversation, after me looking at all this, I think it's best you have a roofer come out and look at this. And she's like, why? You won't cause any damage. I'm like, no, I won't. But I don't want to get blamed for the the previous damage so basically you can't always you know not every prospect is a customer and sometimes you need to just say no you know and uh, I do all my estimates online um, so sometimes you know you get to a roof and there's pine needles on there or leaves on there for instance and sometimes you just have to factor it, and that's what I do I factor it in on all my roof cleaning jobs you know sometimes if I get there and there's a bunch of pine needles or leaves on a roof and I had to take 20 minutes or 30 minutes to blow it off before I start, that's factored into the price. So that's kind of stuff you learn with experience and uh, scammers, you know, are out there. So you never know. And it could always, it could be a customer that has, uh, acts really cool. It could be a customer that you think is awesome, you know, super friendly, super nice just talks highly of you and then you get there on the job day and they're kind of saying oh well, I thought this was supposed to be done with that and they, you know people try to beat you up and you just never know when it's going to come and then there's also been uh, times where the customer seems awful and they're they seem like they're trying to beat me up on price they ask me for a roof cleaning estimate I give it to them um, then they call and they start saying, well, you know, I had a price for this much and the guy said he was going to clean my screen enclosure and pool patio as well. You know, well, well are you going to clean the windows after like, and you stand your ground and you tell them, yes, I could do all that. It just takes time and time is money and it's going to cost this much more. And they're like, okay, great. Come on, do it. And then, you know, there's been times where I'm like, oh crap. I hope they were going to say no. And you get there and uh, they end up being an awesome customer, leaves you a review and you do them for years and years on end. So you just never know. And the way to solve that problem is just have your video camera, videotape any, any kind of damage, any kind of discoloration, oxidation. As you're, as you're, as part of our systems is we're videotaping the whole house regardless. Number one, you get some cool before and after pictures when you take all angles with a video camera and you can just take still shots from that. Then after you do the same thing, but also you're gonna catch any kind of discoloration on the paint, oxidation, any kind of window seals that, you know, 
they look loose or cracks or uh, the front door, the hardware on the front door. Um, make sure there's no, you know, that whatever, the, if it's made out of like a metal or um, aluminum, make sure there's no damage to that before you start. And if there is, videotape it because you don't want them to say that wasn't like that. And, you, and you're kind of just like, I, I don't know. You don't want to be like, no, that was like that when you really honestly don't know. Um, so it'd be a lot easier if they, you know, because sometimes a customer not even be sure. They just know you cleaned and they happen to just notice something they'd never noticed before. And they think, oh, that wasn't like that. And you could say, nope, look right here on my video camera. And they're going to go, oh, wow, okay. Or if there were a con man, they're going to be like, crap, we picked the wrong one. So you always want to make sure you do your due diligence and videotape before and after and talk to the customers, get a feel for them. Um, and I know that you're never going to be able to tell, but at least if they do act up or they try to scam you, you have coverage. You have video video documentation of the damage or any kind of damage that you may have think they might try to bail you for. So if you ain't got a camera, that's the, probably the most important thing on these jobs, honestly. Because if someone tries to get you for something you didn't do, it could be very, very costly. Even if your insurance does pay for it, it could be very costly in the sense that you got to pay more for your insurance now. And it's sad to say there is these many scammers out there, but they're, they're there. I mean, look at it, you know, look at, um, you got uh, people that call and text me all the time saying they need an estimate. Um, they're out of town, you know, they're, they're across the country. They're in the hospital dying, but they need a roof cleaned across the country. Come on, that doesn't make sense. And they want you to pay up front with it, or they pay you up front with a credit card and they give you extra and you got to send them the extra because some, they got to pay for, you know, cancer medicine. So like I've seen crazy things. Now I'm getting text messages where it'll be like a package you ordered is on the way. Please check. There has been a problem. Please check and uh, confirm and there's a link in there and it's from a bogus number and the link looks all screwy don't ever click those links either and then same thing with email I'm getting emails from people saying um, uh, you know oh your coverage is can't like Facebook's gonna lock you out like the craziest things and there's all these scams and it's sad that this day and age is like that but if you ain't covering your butt, nobody will. I mean, yeah, you gotta have insurance, but at the end of the day, people are trying to scam you for your insurance. Or if you don't have insurance, there's people trying to scam you for a hundred bucks to you know make it disappear. So just be weary out there. And like I said, if you're doing online estimates like me, make sure you factor in that extra BS in case you don't do the job, in case there's leaves, you know, in case uh, it rains, anything just, think about all these uh, variables that can happen and it comes with experience and also in the beginning I get it I've done a lot of sketchy stuff myself in the beginning because I didn't know better you know what I mean doing jobs where I should have had a lift with a ladder and climbing up stuff or doing jobs and not realizing that there's some serious damage on this roof and then yeah I've always taken videos I've been good with that and that's a given but you need to recognize if something doesn't feel right and uh, although you may be hurting for money you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you could lose your business or you know be set back and you know who knows but if you're not weary and careful it will eventually come and bite you so the whole thing is to be prepared and be ready to roll in case that does happen so I just want to share that with you guys you know it was a little frustrating but at the same time, I'm, this, this business is not for today. This business is for the rest of my life. So whether I'm on the truck or not, I want this business to be around. Whether I sell it or not years down the line, this business is going to be so solid tight that it will last forever. And that's where my mind is. I'm not worried about the, the buck today. I'm worried about the money tomorrow and 10 years and 20 years from now. So... I get it in the beginning it's frustrating your phone's barely ringing and if you come across something like this it's gonna be tempted to just do the job anyway which like I said I've been there
but just make sure you cover yourself always have insurance always document always tape up electrical stuff you never know what can happen on any given day and you got to make sure you're covered and if you're like i said if you're not covering yourself nobody will no you know no one's gonna look out for you if something goes wrong so you got to be you know ready to back yourself up otherwise you know you'll be you, you can get screwed so all right guys i hope you enjoyed um if you have any questions or if you had any stories like this drop them in the comments below i'll catch you guys next time i appreciate you guys rocking with the army take care i'll see you on the next one